In this video, we're diving into a powerful feature we've surprisingly overlooked on our AI workflow journey, HyperHumans Chat Avatar. While we frequently used HyperHumans Rodin for many of our experiments, we somehow missed the very tool that sparked this innovative path. Today, we'll explore how Chat Avatar can seamlessly integrate into a workflow to create a custom metahuman in Unreal Engine. But we're not stopping there. We'll also set up Live Link to bring our metahuman to life in real time, using just an iPhone for live facial control. Here's a step-by-step -step overview of this project from start to finish. First, we'll generate an image of our character. You can use any text-to-image tool you prefer. For this example, I'm creating a weathered, elderly male character. Quick tip, it's best to create a bald character without facial hair, as this makes it easier for Chad Avatar to accurately define the character's facial features. Next, we'll upload our image to Chad Avatar, which will generate a 3D facial mesh for us. Once the mesh is ready, we'll bring it into Unreal Engine and use the Mesh to MetaHuman tool. This feature automatically detects the character's facial structure and uses that data to create a fully rigged meta-human. Finally, we'll enhance the process by setting up the Live Link plugin, enabling us to control the meta-human's facial expressions in real time using just an iPhone. There's a lot of exciting ground to cover, so let's dive in. Once you've generated your image, it's time to dive into step one, chat avatar. Simply drag and drop your image into the interface, click Generate, and let the magic unfold. In just a few moments, you'll have a detailed facial mesh complete with textures. To the right, you'll find an impressive preview window that allows you to examine the base mesh, its texture, and the original reference image side by side. Once your mesh is ready, it's time to finalize the setup. For this example, I'll stick with the default options, but there are a few critical additions we need, eyes, teeth, and the back of the head option. These elements will complete our model. With just a few clicks, Chat Avatar will process and package everything into a downloadable file. And just like that, you've created a 3D face model for your character. Before importing this into Unreal Engine, we'll make a quick stop in Blender to ensure the model is in the correct format for our workflow. Let's quickly open up Blender and get started. Begin by importing the OBJ file of your mesh. Look for the one labeled Add-ons. Once imported, switch to Edit Mode, right-click, and choose Separate by Material. This will break the mesh into individual components based on its materials. Next, select each piece of the mesh individually. For this workflow, we'll keep only the face, eyes, and back of the head. You can safely delete extras like teeth, eyelashes, or any unnecessary elements. Once you've cleaned up the mesh, select all remaining pieces and press Ctrl plus J to join them into a single object. With that done, we're ready to export. Since Unreal Engine requires FBX files, this is the perfect time to rename your mesh for easy identification later. With your FBX file exported, you're all set for the next step in Unreal. Once our Unreal Engine project is set up, we can import the modified mesh along with its textures. Additionally, we've included a simple eye texture for our character. To bring these to life, we'll need to create materials and assign the textures accordingly. In the Material Editor, replace the base color with a Texture Sample node and assign the corresponding texture. Repeat this process for the face, eyes, and back of the head. Once the materials are ready, double-click the mesh to open it and drag each material into the appropriate slots to apply the textures to the model. Before diving deeper into the project, it's important to install the required plugins. Head to the Plugins Manager and enable both the MetaHuman and LiveLink plugins. After enabling them, you'll be prompted to restart Unreal Engine. With the plugins installed and Unreal back up and running, we're ready to move on to creating our MetaHuman. Let's bring our character to life as a MetaHuman. Start by right-clicking in the Content Drawer and selecting MetaHuman Animator to create a MetaHuman identity. Open the editor and in the top left corner, click Create Component from Mesh. Select the mesh we generated using Chat Avatar. Next, click Promote Frame. This will set the perspective Unreal uses to analyze your mesh. After that, hit Track Markers, and you should see an outline of your character's prominent facial features. 
Once everything looks good, click MetaHuman Identity Solve to automatically fill in the remaining sections for your MetaHuman. Don't forget to select a body type for your character. While Unreal is busy creating your MetaHuman, let's jump over to the MetaHuman Creator to finalize the details. Once logged into MetaHuman Creator, you'll see the character we just generated in your character selection panel. Open it up, and you'll find a plethora of options to tweak your character's appearance. Make a few adjustments to get everything just right. Later you will be able to download your refined MetaHuman directly into your project. Back in Unreal Engine, use Quicksol Bridge to import your MetaHuman. Click the Quicksol icon, ensure you're logged in, and navigate to the MetaHuman section under My MetaHumans. Locate your character, select the quality level you prefer, and click the download icon. This process might take a while, but once the download completes, your MetaHuman will be imported into the project. You'll find it in a newly created MetaHuman folder. Open the folder, locate the blueprint for your character, and drag it into the scene. Now it's time for the fun part, controlling your MetaHuman. With the necessary plugins already installed, all that's left is to set up Live Link on your iPhone. Download the Live Link Face app from the App Store. For your convenience, I've included a step-by-step -step installation video in the description. Once the app is set up, you should see your phone listed in Unreal Engine's Live Link drop-down menu. Select it, and just like that, you'll have full control over your character's facial movements. This works seamlessly in both the scene view and play mode. You may notice that your metahuman doesn't look identical to the image we initially generated. This is due to the textures created within MetaHuman Creator, which differ from our original inputs. If you're interested in learning how to add custom textures to your MetaHuman, like the Thanos-inspired character I created, leave a comment below. And while you're at it, hit that like button. If you found this workflow useful, smashing the like button helps us continue sharing valuable techniques to enhance your game development journey.